Walter well, Betsy couldn't be here today. He is uh, early tomorrow morning. He did his six week recovery time. So you're stuck with me for a little while. <laughs> um, I want to talk about a you dealt with on the consent agenda issue at uh, Badcock and Joanne Lane for um, uh, no parking down in that area based on some complaints and issues. We can address that. Uh, the town conducted its annual auction this weekend. We spoke about briefly. Mr. Bridal touched on that. A thank you to Pascal and Bill Rowley who acted as the uh, auctioneer for that. Uh, the annual budget books have been released to the budget committee for their use in the scheduled review and the upcoming uh, reviews. And last but certainly not least, he wanted to announce that he has appointed uh, Richard Sawyer to be the next police chief to succeed me upon my retirement. Uh, that'll be effective in my retirement. My last day is the 31st, Halloween. Uh, perfect to be in costume that last time, I guess. And then uh, uh, Deputy Chief Sawyer, then Chief Sawyer will begin November 1, and there's a planned swearing in here at your meeting on November 3rd at 7 p.m. that evening. Good. And that is also congratulations. Welcome to Board Select and Wilson. 836 Rear Lafayette Road. When I was watching the zoning board meeting, I mentioned this to Fred briefly. When I was watching that meeting, I found out something I didn't know. Mr. Diener was there. Did Jay leave? Yes, he did. But he was there to hear what went on as well. Apparently, when Route 1 was rebuilt, it's filled in. 2004, 5, whatever, in that time frame. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was when Hunter Reesburg was still here. That would be the late 90s, 90-something. 90 that was rebuilt. Apparently, the town... And not the town. The state authorized the construction crews to use the 836 Rear Lafayette Road lot as a dumping ground for the leftover materials from the construction. I think that is a disgrace. I, I have no idea why anyone was allowed to do that. Any material that was not supposed to, was not used or whatever, should have been taken off site and disposed of properly. The residents who were at the zoning board meeting were saying that that little area in the back of the property was had a wildlife pond, and the wildlife used to go in there and, and all that stuff, and the whole area has been decimated. And it is... Um, uh, well, I guess you could call it a wasteland now. How dare the state of New Hampshire allow that on town property? I would like to follow up with that, with DOT or whoever is appropriate, and ask why that was done and why the state can't come in and restore that for the town. Thank you. I was furious when Mr. I heard Solomon's that. Mr. Solomon's made that uh, notation. Uh, further? Uh, not on that subject. I'm really upset. I don't know what they're doing on other construction projects, but that's an insult to this town. Phil. Hmm? Phil. They used it as Phil. Okay, par pardon me. Selectman. Thank you, Brian. No, thank you. Thanks for your for the report. Town manager. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. It was a good report, too, by the way. <laughs> Fred wrote it. I just wrote it. Oh. He's saying that because it was short and sweet. Okay. okay. We